Let's do the derivative of secant x. How can we do that? First thing, look at secant x as 1 over cosine. So this is taking the derivative as 1 over cosine x. Yeah, the same. And by writing secant x as 1 over cosine x, all we can do is label the top as f, the bottom as g, and we can use the quotient rule. Let me put this on the side. g is equal to cosine x, and then f on the top is equal to 1. What's the derivative of cosine x? Is negative sine x, right? And what's the derivative of 1? You should tell me 0. So f prime is equal to 0. And we're ready to work. This right here, let's write on the denominator and square that, which is cosine x, and then we square that. On the top, we take cosine x times 0. Let me, let me put this down, cosine x times 0. And we subtract, we go this direction, 1 times negative sine, 1 times negative sine x, like that. Cosine x times 0, of course that will be 0, and negative times negative is positive, okay? So we have a positive um, at the end. So a few things that we can do right here, let me just, do, let me just write this down as 1 times sine x, 1 in red, and then the sine is in black, over, we have cosine x times cosine x on the denominator. Let me put one of the cosine x in red, and another cosine x in black, because when I do that, we see 1 over cosine is what? Is secant x, and what's sine x over cosine x? That's tangent x. The derivative of secant x is equal to secant x. Once again, this secant x repeat just like the cosecant x. And you multiply with tangent x. And make sure that this is positive, okay? And that's it.